What's good YouTube? DM Gaming here guys and in today's video in today's video I want to talk about the future of college football okay the future of this fine game right here but before we do guys let's get a shout out for today's video sponsor Welcome to Trust Dice, your gateway to top-notch crypto casino action and unbeatable sports betting. Trust Dice is one of the largest crypto casinos and sports books with a global user base of over 100 countries. Check out the incredible odds we have for upcoming esports events. Don't forget, we also offer popular in-house games like Dice and Crash for a variety of gaming thrills. Trust Dice isn't just about gaming, it's about creating unforgettable betting experiences. With stellar reviews and unbeatable odds, it's time to place your bet where it counts. Check the description for direct links to the esports betting section. If you're new to the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. Don't be a point dexter. Get out of the portal and become five star by subscribing to the channel. Turn on the bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Guys, I, I, y'all know me. I've been playing other games. Okay. Just did a review, another my final review on Black Myth Wukong. Check that out if you hadn't seen that. Um this game, dude, I, like, I I took a break from it, not purposely, but because I've been playing Black Myth Wukong. I'll put it into perspective. I've put in, uh, I think, 210 hours on college football, 25, and I've already put in 120 hours on Black Myth Wukong, okay? They came out a month apart from each other. So, like, when I tell you I played, I was playing college football strong when it came out, Every day, all day, never got old, never got boring. And then I played Black Myth Wukong and I kept playing it. And then, of course, school started, football and stuff. And my gaming time was extremely limited during the week. Still is. Mondays and Tuesdays, I don't touch my game because I get home so late. Thursdays either and Fridays. So I really only play my game Wednesday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, with that being said, um, I played a couple of games yesterday. Guys, this game is, is fantastic, dude. This game is so fantastic. And it's so crazy because there were so many. There were not so many. There were some things that people was like, oh, that's unrealistic. That's unrealistic. And then you turn on college football and it, and you see the same stuff that happened in the game happen in real life. And I remember talking about that because y'all know who Mr. Ryan Moody. Oh, that's not this. That's not and, bro, you turn on college football and you see the same stuff to the point EA Sports themselves even uh, kind of, you know, shown some clips that happened in the game and happened in real life as well. And, and guys, you know, is this game true to life simulation? It's dangerously close. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, they're not real people. They're, they're going to be some elements of it being a game, if that makes sense. However... Guys, the thing is realistic. It's simulation football. It's great. Can you nitpick it? Most definitely. You can nitpick any game. Okay. Black Myth Wukong is my game of the year nominee. And I can nitpick it. But it's a great game. Sometimes people just need to say, hey, this is a video game. I just need to enjoy it. This game is dope. All right. You got a running back. That it's four games in the season. He's rushed for eight over 800 yards and 13 touchdowns. Guess what? It's in real life. The running back from Boise State. Go check him out. That's video game type numbers. Travis Hunter balling out. People was like, oh, Colorado's overrated. Colorado's overrated. They're this, they're that. Travis Hunter isn't the best player in college. Shador Sanders isn't the best quarterback in college. Bruh. Where are the Colorado naysayers at right now? I mean, the Buffs are having an amazing season right now. But regardless of that, they have so much room for improvement. But Travis Hunter is ridiculous. The dude is ridiculous. EA Sports wasn't lying when they rated these two players very high because they're two very good players. Okay. Now, what surprised me so far this season is Oregon. Oregon has struggled early out the gate, but they're, you know, they've still been winning. Still been winning, but they haven't just been dominant. Like the game has them dominant. I don't know. It's, it's real life and it's football. It's a game. You know, it is what it is. So, you know, I'm sitting here playing this game. All right. And I'm looking 
I like to look forward a little bit because, guys, let's be honest. Right now, they're already working on developing the next college football game. They don't wait till a few months before release, if that makes sense. They go ahead and get the ball rolling for the most part. Um, some areas I feel like they can improve on uh, is recruiting, for one. While I like recruiting, I don't have a problem with recruiting. I, I just feel like still, if there's room for the game to grow, it is in recruiting. Now, I like the kind of set it and forget it feature. It, it, it just feels like it's missing something. And I can't, I honestly can't point out what it is, you know. Um, I think a good addition to the offseason could be potentially a, um, I think a really good addition could be a All-American game. The Under Armour All-American game or the Army, Army all-american game i think that one would be really really dope there's that's two different ones uh for incoming high school guys and maybe you play with them and you unlock uh more stats and features about them i think spring games really really should make a comeback in this game there was a college football game that actually did a spring game it was dope so say let's say hey another thing early enrollees you know you don't really have that in this game. Can we get some guys to enroll early? And then you can unlock more of their attributes by playing with them in the spring game. That's how it was in the older games as far as the spring game. If it was a recruit that you signed, you can kind of see more about them through the spring game. Uh, kind of same way in Madden with the, with the Senior Bowl. I could definitely see them adding that to both games. You know what's crazy, guys? I haven't even played Madden. I don't even have Madden. I, I've never even thought about buying Madden because of this game. But anyway, so uh, definitely add that for like the offseason type stuff. As far as the in-game, in-game stuff, presentation. I like the presentation. Don't get me wrong. It's nice. Uh, the game itself is so good, so fun that I, you don't ever even think about, you know, certain things like a studio update that you would probably get with uh, a ESPN sponsorship, you know, and they're saying like, oh, if ESPN was a part of the game, they would kind of dictate how we do certain stuff. And I get that. But honestly, I don't see anything that the game does that ESPN wouldn't do, if that makes sense. So I don't know. Hey, maybe go Fox Sports Net or something. I don't know. Get get somebody. We need a studio update where you actually do have the cut scenes showing the scores and stats from the other games. If you showed highlights, that would be even crazier. I would love to see that. And we long for that as football fans since NFL 2K5, the halftime studio updates where they actually show clips from other games. And I know what they've said, EA have said in the past, oh, but it's the same kind of clips is just recycled. We don't care. We really don't care. You can put enough clips in to where it doesn't get mundane. I, I don't care. I just want to see what I kind of see on TV, man. You know, I turn on NBA 2K. And you see the halftime show with Shaq Nim. Can we get something like that for college football? I think that would be so phenomenal. You know, the game itself is strong. It's good. Can you improve on certain things gameplay wise? Yeah, but the kind of I don't really like touching on that because they're going to do that stuff throughout the lifetime of the game. They've already done it. They already, you know, at first we couldn't edit uh people who were not nil players now guess what you can and it makes perfect sense and it's so much fun do have i i haven't used it yet i know some people have and i get it you know what i'm saying some people probably they want to make a player better than what he is on their squad blase blase i actually enjoyed the challenge of playing with who i got if you recruited them that's who you got you can't change them they can improve as far as statistics or, or ratings on your team, but you couldn't go in and manually change that, you know? So, but I'm happy for the people who wanted that in the game. Why? Because it helps with the game sales in the future. It helps with the longevity of the game and things like that. So I'm happy for that. I'm happy that you got that. That pleases me, okay? Another thing going forward, I know a lot of people are wondering about this, and that is the, 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 subdivision schools the fcs schools like are they gonna be in the game are we gonna get to play with them in the game can you currently create them yes you can but they're not in the game in the game i don't even know if this game could handle having all of those teams you know or you know if it could that'd be awesome hey i'd love to play with the fcs team and then getting in there and 
you know, go into their playoff system and things like that. I think that would be really, really dope. Similar to 2K does with the WNBA kind of deal. But understand there's more teams. But I think that would be crazy dope and exciting to do. They've done it in previous games. I want to say NCAA 12 on the PS2 had it to where while those teams weren't in the game, they were in the game. You can They were already created, but you couldn't just go and pick them. You had to import them. Um, you had to replace them with a different team, if that makes sense. But even on the PlayStation 2 games, the PS1 games, I do remember where you did have those FCS schools in there, actually already in the game. You could, you could do the same thing. You could put them in the Dynasty mode and play with them. Or you could play at th throughout their own season, if you will. And, and that was real cool. You had the Heritage Bowl for the swag and all that kind of stuff. Now, guys, the, the game is going to... I think it's going to sell a lot more next year. I think people are going to be really, really excited. They are already fired up about the game. Improvements, you know, anything that they add to the game is just going to make it that much better. Uh, the fact that it's only on next gen this year... Is going to show that, you know, it's going to be able to be built upon for next year. I don't expect major improvements as far as gameplay goes because, you know, it's into that cycle where they can only work on it for a year at a time. But they, this is a big foundation, a very, very, very big foundation. So expect them to keep all of the pageantry and stuff that they have in the game, maybe improve introductions. Uh, a halftime show, perhaps, maybe a legit halftime show or something to that effect. I think uh, things that they would m primarily add would be recruiting stuff, things in the offseason, maybe get some NIL stuff in there because they wanted to get that stuff in there NIL-wise. However, because NIL changes so much and because the game was about to come out, they didn't bother with it. So they just left it as brand. So that opens the door for stuff like that. And then, of course, presentation, like, more, you know, maybe more actual copyrighted studio sounds and things like that. And don't get me wrong. They're still adding things to the game. They're adding um, these special sceneries into the game. They're adding the special like striped games, white out games, the themed type things. They're adding new uniforms all the time. And I love that because back in the PlayStation 3 era, NCAA 14, you had to actually purchase those uniforms but in their defense you didn't have games connected to the internet like, like there wasn't like updates to games and stuff like it is now if that makes sense so now they can just go in and update it you download it it's free you got it i love that keep it like that i mean you know do i mind paying for uniforms I, I, at the end of the day i'm gonna be i personally don't i mean people pay for skins for games and things like that but I love that they give us these uniforms and stuff like that for free. Whenever a team wears these uniforms, I mean, within a week or so, that uniform is in the game. That's going to be cool. Can't wait to see the new updated stadiums. They can do all of that stuff in real time. Remember, I told you all a long time ago, this football game is pretty much a live service football game, meaning, you know, they could essentially keep this same game for next year and put out a, a uh update that's going to update the rosters they can update the stadiums they can they can add a halftime show into the game literally just by updating the game itself they can they could technically do all that are they going to do it no they're going to sell a different game because you know sales or whatever but it is what it is i don't even think i haven't even been hearing about ultimate team <laughs> i told people man I, I had a brand deal for ultimate team stuff coins and, and and you know the guy was like hey people aren't really buying it and i told him Dude, it's college football. Nobody cares about that. You know, people ain't buying coins for Ultimate Team. And I love that EA isn't trying to shove that down your throat. They do have some stuff here and there, but it's not like Madden where you turn it on and they're promoting all of these different things and stuff. Yeah, I get it. But anyway, let me know what y'all think. Are y'all still playing the game? Are y'all still having fun with the game? And what would you like to see in the game going forward, guys? I hope everybody have an awesome evening, afternoon, morning, or night, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.